Hi guys, so excited to come your way again with another video. I'm glad you are here with me. Thank for your time. Uh, if you are here for the first time, this is Deeper G's Corner, a channel that is devoted to give you the very best, a channel that you will feel at home, and uh, you are guaranteed to have the latest of the G's going around. So you are in the right place. I welcome you all heartedly. I want to ask of you, if you are here for the first time, you have not subscribed, please consider to subscribe to this channel and, and uh, also press the notification bell so that uh, when I release new videos, you will be notified. Yes, my wonderful friends and uh, subscribers, new and returning subscribers, thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. I appreciate you immensely. Please watch the video to the very end. Give me a thumbs up. And share the video as much as you can, if it is possible. I will appreciate it greatly. Thank you very much. So what we have now to share together, the genes I'm sharing with you is this. Yes, Omar Yele Sore accuses Tinubu of stealing his ideas on foreign exchange. Omar Yele Sore Accuse the president Tinobu of stealing his ideas on foreign exchange. We know this popular man, Omar Yele Sowere, the 2023 presidential candidate of the African Action Congress. He has slammed the president Tinobu with an accusation. And what is that? He accused the president of stealing his idea on how to solve the problem of multiple exchange rates regimes in the country. You remember that uh, Tinubu uh, recently suspended Mr. Godwin Emefiri as the central bank governor CBN and uh, adopted a clean float foreign exchange management. Uh, in a press release that has been signed by CBN director in charge of the financial market, Angela, Syria and Jembe. The APES Bank announced immediate changes to operations in Nigerian foreign exchange, FX market. The APES Bank, the Central Bank of Nigeria, abolished either to multiple exchange rate windows and collapsed them into the business based investors and exporters windows. Uh, while reacting to this, Omo Yele picked a hole in it and uh, through his uh, Twitter, he posted on Friday, said that even though the idea of unifying the multiple exchange rate was stolen from his campaign promises, the manner by which it was implemented by Tinubu's government was very, very wrong and uh, showed the tendency that it may not be sustained for a very long time. Well, my view is that at least is doing something right, is in the, on the right path. Let's hope that uh, things will occur out well. Uh, he went further on the matter of the value of Naira versus dollar. Eight months ago, uh, Omar Yele continued. Say, eight months ago, I spoke extensively about the best ways to strengthen the local currency. Bola Tinobu has stolen my ideas. But the direction his government has said is, is incapable of long term economic growth. That's what uh, Omar Yeli tweeted. You know, he was appearing on a live program on Arise New TV months ago. So, we we'll explained comprehensively how his government would tackle the, government, the problem if elected as the country's president. So, we we'll said the first he would do is to suspend a midfield because of his political affiliation. He went further to say that uh, the first thing we need to do is to completely erase the multiple rate system. That is what is promoting the corruption that is killing Naira, the Naira, Nigerian currency. If you go to the Central Bank of Nigeria today, depending on who you talk to, depending on whom you know, you can exchange the Naira for as low as 300 Naira to a dollar. I don't even know how many rates they have. You know, without eliminating that rate and allowing the Naira to find its own balance, not by floating, but by ensuring that our micro economic policies are 
tank them with the managers of our, of our economy. Yes, they all understand that the economy should be managed in certain ways. One thing I would have done, it continued to, to say, if I happen to be the president of Nigeria today, I will have fired the central bank government. He has no credibility, having dabbled into politics and tried to become a presidential candidate in the last primary. Well, good thing the current president has you know, suspended the president, uh, yes, the governor of the central bank of Nigeria. He went further to say, you cannot expect a microeconomy manager to be to be strengthened by people by people that have no faith in even in the Central Bank of Nigeria. Ultimately, the way to protect the Naira is to produce. I've said this always, that without production, without getting our system in place, to ensure that Nigerians, whether you are a small business person or you are multinational or corporation, you can produce inside Nigeria. We have no means of protecting our, our currency because we are not players in the international market. And until we are players here, then we cannot make any headway. Well, that is that for you, friends. That is the submission of uh, Mr. Uh, Omar Yeli. Let me say this before I round up. The only product we have there is oil, crude oil. And about half of that is stolen on a daily basis. Today, we can't find those who are stealing, uh, you know, 700 barrels of oil on daily basis. Can you imagine that? It is ridiculous. That is why Nigeria is, is not moving forward. It's not progressing at all. Leadership is the key. But most importantly, to, us, to, uh, to have a solid microeconomic manager that we understand the Nigerian economy is not, by, is not meant for ordinary investors. So Nigeria must change. There must be, we must sanitize the economy of Nigeria. Friends, what do you have to say to this? I want your opinion, and your opinion matters a lot. Friends, be a good Nigeria. Do the best to move Nigeria forward. Thank you so much for you know listening and for watching this video. Well, the only thing I can say to you is this. Be yourself. And until I come your way next time with another video, bye. Bye.